So I'm going to have a go at the next codility exercise in the stacks and queues lesson. It's called fish. It's a painless task. So let's get straight into it. Okay, you're given two non-empty arrays A and B consisting of N integers. Array A and B represents N voracious fish in a river ordered downstream along the flow of the river. The fish are numbered from 0 to n minus 1. If p and q are two fish and p is s and q, then fish p is initially upstream of fish q. Initially, each fish has a unique position. Fish number p is represented by ap and bp. Array a contains the sizes of the fish. All the elements are unique. Array b contains the directions of the fish. It contains only zeros and or ones where zero represents a fish flowing upstream and one represents a fish flowing downstream. If two fish move in opposite directions and there are no other living fish between them, they will eventually meet each other. Then only one fish can stay alive. The larger fish eats the smaller one. More precisely, we say that two fish, P and Q, meet each other where P is less than Q BP is 1, BQ is 0, and there are no living fish between them after they meet. Okay, um, okay let's have a look at the, ex I think I'll go straight onto the example. So A and B, with A is 43215 and B is 01001. So A represents size of fish and B represents their directions. So initially all the fish are alive and all except fish number one are moving upstream. Okay, so fish number one is moving downstream. Fish number one meets fish number two and eats it. So three meets two and eats it, then it meets number three and eats that. Then it meets number four and is eaten by it. The remaining two fish, zero and four, never meet and therefore stay alive. Okay, so fish which are stream, uh, swimming downstream meet fish swimming upstream. So the zeros here are, flip, are swimming up and the ones are swimming down so four isn't going to meet anyone fish number zero with the size of four isn't going to meet anyone three is going in the opposite direction three meets two eats it it meets one eats it and then five meets three and eats that Okay, um, write a function. I'll just copy the function signature. The given two non-empty arrays returns the number of fish that stay alive. For example, in the example above, the function should return two. Write an efficient algorithm for n which is the number of fish being in a range of 1 to 100,000. Each element in array A is an integer within the range of 0 and 1 billion. Each element of array B is either a 0 or 1, and all elements of the array A are distinct. Okay, so I think the way to do this it's going to be if we see a fish and the direction is zero, the direction is upstream, um, we can ignore the first one, that one's going to survive, but the second one, which is swimming downstream, will add this to a stack. And then when we see another upstream fish, that upstream fish has got to fight with all of the ones in the stack 
until either it gets eaten by the one on the stack, in this case it would do, or it eats the one in the stack. And then we'll keep going down. And the if the stack is empty, the fish will survive. If it's not, at the end, we've counted the ones that I've got the stack empty and the total will be the sum of the ones that met with an empty stack plus the length of the stack I think that makes sense um, I'll ex re-explain that as I do it but I'll just put the example method in Okay, so I've just put the example in there and now let's have a look at it. So A and B are the same length, we know that. So I'm just gonna loop an index from zero to A length minus one. And then here we can say in fish this is the size of the fish, is A at index and direction is B at index. Now I'm going to have a counter survivals which starts off at zero and I'm going to have a stack. Now, if direction is zero, then this fish will have to fight any fish in the stack. But if the stack is empty, it will survive. So, if stack is empty, a survival else it has to fight the fish so in opposite fish you stack dot pop if opposite fish is greater than fish fish dies and opposite fish gets put back on the stack. I'm just gonna say that the stack is a stack of integers. Okay, now we need to loop through until the stack is empty. So I'm gonna say while not stack is empty and if we get through that while loop we have a survival if opposite fish is greater than fish then we push if fish is greater than opposite fish then we'll go back round in the loop and get the next one off the stack else direction is zero so we just need to push the fish onto the stack Right, now I'm not sure whether that's right. Um, I'm going to debug this. At the end, all of the fish on the stack are 
of survivals returning to survivals I'm not sure whether that's right at all I'm just going to run this and see okay it's stuck forever in the loop but I am going to need to debug this anyway so I'll debug this so first survivals is zero and we have a stack uh, we have the fish 43215 and the directions 01000 zero, 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 zero. so the first fish's direction is zero and the stack is empty so it survives the next one's direction is one so we put it on the stack the next one's direction is zero so the stack's not empty so the fish on the stack this fish is two and the fish that we take off the stack is three three eats two so we put three back on the stack and then we just need to break out of that loop there and we don't want to oh, hang on let's just see what the result is now four that's wrong um, we don't want to add the survival here I just need to say boolean survives equals false I'll assume true sorry and if opposite fish is greater than fish this fish is not going to survive and here if survives add one onto it I think that's it now two okay so I'll just debug again so the first fish survives the second fish has a size of three and it's in the opposite direction it gets put on the stack the third fish has a size of two it has to fight the one on the sack stack and it's going to lose but we're going to assume it's going to win but we take the opposite fish off the stack it beats this one so we put it back on the stack that one's now not going to survive we break out of the loop it doesn't survive the next fish is a one same thing again opposite fish beats it opposite fish goes back on the stack we say it's not going to survive because it was beaten by opposite fish and we don't add one to survival then that that's the end is it uh, that needs to be I is this an A because we didn't do the last one so just quickly again the first one survives the second one gets put on the stack the third one is eaten and doesn't survive the fourth one is eaten and doesn't survive the fifth one five this is going to eat this one the one on the stack so we take the one off the stack opposite fish is three and fish is five so that goes there now it would carry on going through the stack if the stack wasn't empty but the stack is empty it was not eaten so it survives and finally survivals which is currently two we add zero remaining on the stack and the answer is two so I think that's it um, I'm going to have to import stack for it to work um, I don't think anything could go wrong it doesn't matter how big it is we're just looping through once um, 
there's they're never equal sized fish so we don't have to worry about greater than or equal or anything like that uh, i just need to import stack i'll run the tests on that and i'll submit that and 100 percent so that's my solution to codility's fish exercise thanks for watching